Sand Salutations, everyone. This is Tamar Shanter. The game is Telltales, The Walking Dead. We are in Season 1, um, and we're getting ready to start Episode 2, Starved for Help. And so, without further ado, let's uh, get after it, and Merry Christmas. Here we go. Oops, nope, we gotta go back here. Hit the wrong button. I actually, it's been so long since I played, I, I forgot where I left off, and I thought... I couldn't remember doing some of this stuff, so I had to go back and watch the end of the last video to make sure I was in the right spot. And it turns out that I am. It's also very early in the morning, and I've been awake since 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm tired. So, um, excuse me if I play this badly. Hopefully I won't. So we're three months after the uh, events of the last game. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Poor bunny. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or Miss Hammond, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Hmm, wonder what that would be. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit! Uh -oh. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Uh-oh, Scooby. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. 
please! Ben, ben and Travis here. My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing! Just see if you can get him out! After that you can leave us or whatever, I don't care! Please! Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear! <laughs> hurry, please, hurry! Uh-oh. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Uh -oh. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! This can't be happening. Damn, this is bad. Really bad. Lee, do something! Just get me out, please! Come on, oh, do I something! Screaming. We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Why is this well, happening to us? Chain. Guess we're gonna have to chop it off. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Let's go, let's go! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Dude, we don't have time for that, bro. Ah, it has to be now! Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! Wow, uh, working on it. Ah. I'm sorry, but we have to go now! Come on, get the nub off. He's almost there. There we go. Ah. Oh god! Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go! Let's go, kids. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Well, there's the end of trap. No! Left with Ben, I guess. Very nice in the post apocalyptic zombie apocalypse place. The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are these? Don't have time to explain. Lee, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Shemo. I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wh what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, 
You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Four for ten. Oh, we've got three children, so there's three taken care of right there. Is he going to let me do anything? Maybe, maybe. Oh, the hell there. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Not right now. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay. Give food to Ben. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy. Can I at least get done uh, giving the children some food? Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we going to get some food? I'm working on it, Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Uh, probably a little more in there. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! And one more piece of apple. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. All right, let's see here. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. You got your apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here. 
Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! <laughs> All right. So let's see who, uh... Not such an easy job, is it? It was pretty easy. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. People are lovely, Ken, aren't they? Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Captain. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, I reacted too slow. <laughs> Holy shit. I was busy. I was like, what the hell happened? I was... I guess I was too mesmerized to even think about that happening. And there we shit. go. Shit! The axe! Hurry! Oh. Uh. Uh. Kick him, damn it. Kick him, damn it. Zesky as. Hey! Come on, I was using the damn SP. God damn it. Move, move! Shit, it's stuck! Come on, Mark, you gotta have better aim than that, brother. I got him! Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's, it's not, not the, the bite, bite that does it. 
You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Where'd this string come from? Watch where you walk on. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. Don't jump on them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't, I don't know, know how you're still alive, man. <laughs> Sorry, Norby. We, we gotta do this. That's far That's enough. enough! Oh, oh shit! shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no no crap. crap. Are you armed? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for protection. protection. Dead, Dead could be, be anywhere. anywhere. But, uh, I think, I think you, you got, got the, the upper, upper hand, hand here. here. What do you what need do you gas, gas for? for? Our place, Our place is protected, is protected by an electric, electric fence. fence. Generators, generators provide, provide the electricity. electricity. Our generators, Our generators run, run on gas. gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. Y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trait. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. I don't trust them. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? Boy, I don't know. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, Daddy-o, I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For Dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You betcha, Pumpkin. Doug? I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. I think it's a bad idea. Clementine, what do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. I think it's a bad idea. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Do either one of these sure guys do. look like dairy farmers cattle, to you? But you still have yeah. lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. They do not look like Thanks for dairy coming farmers. along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Do either one of these right, guys look like dairy Yeah, farmers why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. 
All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, you get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always... Fucking bandits. Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all for yourself! What you do? Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait for this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> There you go. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I still don't trust these two. They could have went and picked up the crossbow. Had another weapon. That's what I would have done. Okay, so maybe the dairy farm's legit. I don't know, it kind of scares me. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, around the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Doug. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Yeah. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. I don't trust Mark, this. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. 
So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Alright. I don't trust this at all. So, let's see, where am I gonna go? Where is this dude supposed to be at? Come on, go this way. I guess. Where did he say he was gonna? He was gonna be in the generators, yeah? There we go. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop the walk in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. All right, I guess we're gonna check the north. What do you say, northwest? I was kind of daydreaming. So, how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Let's take the arrow. Disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Come on. Oh. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this ah. fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. 
We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Here we go. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. That's why. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You got lucky that time. Okay, well. Uh. Give us the food! Get out of the open! I can do this all day! Get closer! Did you really think you can fuck with us? Can't hide forever! I don't know what to do. I see him! Okay, let's push this bad boy now. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take our money. Oh shit! Chalk out of there. Come on. There we go. If we can reach the gate, now, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Behind you, Whoops! I walked a little too fast. Sunny beaches. I think we're going to end the episode here because we're at 38 minutes, but when we uh, continue from this point on in our next episode, uh, I'm Tamla Shander. The game is Telltale's The Walking Dead. Thanks for joining me. You guys all be good and safe and wear your mask, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.